Hello friends, welcome to my Princess Diana channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. But online trolls did not stop scaring Princess Catherine. Hear about all the details exposing that the rogue royal couple, Harry and Meghan, are engaged in nasty affairs. Please join me and learn more information about this story. Two weeks ago, the princess revealed publicly to the whole world that she battles cancer, but demands privacy. The question remains why under so much pressure from the public and lovesickness the two, Harry and Meg, have continued to lead nasty affairs against Catherine. So these trolls on the internet, that's pretty suspiciously know that if they come from the charitable foundation of the Archwell Foundation by Prince Harry and Aunt Meghan? There is one ad post from a guy from the University of California, his name, Perkins. What is this? I'm not sure, but I sense that the University of California guy is full of threats and violence wants the Princess of Wales to out. And then he writes the fake saying that the Princess of Cambridge was diagnosed with cancer. I don't know what the University of California Los Angeles would have been thinking since, as far as I know, they would have lost the job to some guy like that, I don't know about UK Scotland Yard lists, but at the very least, he should not be admitted to any royal family residences or palaces. Then the University of California Los Angeles will really be miserable when he does something stupid in England. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. He hasn't got even half of what he's pretending to have, probably. But most of all, I realize the freedom of speech in America. But what happened to civility? This is hate speech, and who is this lunatic? He is a university teacher, and I think also in the future employers should for sure make some rules or something, too, like a social media agreement of all the things to post and not to post. If you post something of bad taste about the company, then we may fire you. Your social media is essential because it allows you to free speech but also reflects not only the company but also the works. I'm surprised that University of California Los Angeles accepted that guy on their posts. And maybe, since Meghan and Harry finance the Art Troll Foundation, as I have already pointed out, he would like to please them by putting our princess into critical posts. Is do you believe that the actual story is that the professor is being forced to do dirty things by the two villains, Harry and Meghan? Is do you believe that bloody idiot, Perkins, spread rumors and the fake story that Princess Catherine had cancer? In light of this, in Catherine's example, something for sure revolting, our very own University of California, Los Angeles is sponsoring this disgusting notion in the form of free speech. Why don't we get in contact with the University of California, Los Angeles because of cyberbullying regarding? It's too horrible. Too horrible. So, I'll go to the website of the University of California, Los Angeles, and see where to write. The reason why should two historical barbarians get away with this calamity when compared to Markle and Harry, who have almost no money, did barely any jobs, and were able to go to university for barely any money? This idea is just as odd. However, the nation's colleges have been financially supported by real people. That we didn't care during our time in college is just that, we didn't, repositories. Anyway, we must admit that these buildings do not have a volcanic origin. If the professor brings the big sum of money, then the professor is depending on the sponsor and has some power at the structure that makes decisions at the university. But this guy, no. University of California, Los Angeles. He needs to be fired. He even can say that he is mean and has a pure hatred. How he can allow himself to say this? Why it? Why it? There is someone everyone knows who does this every day on television and social media, etc., and he very well could have put the property of the University of California Los Angeles at risk. This never ends well. Honestly, the guy looks like a creep. 
wonder how he treats his female students. Freedom of speech is allowed, but even hating some group and having opposite opinions shouldn't done. What the guy is saying can be called false information. They may be held responsible. This is the problem of the palace. They should file retractions and cease requests with their attorneys. But that's not exactly hate. The University of California Los Angeles says it was rude, mean, offensive, and wrong. He should probably be disciplined or fired. And that's up to their social media employment policy and California law. Or even his contract. Be careful with what we call hate, remembering they called what people said offensive by the same name. Let's find other descriptions for what is being said, and then move on, remembering the above. And please do not join their agenda by calling for any censorship. Do not give the social media crowd the power to make decisions that they now have in the UK and in Scotland. Whenever I see actions of revenge by Meghan, I always think of the time in which she was denied the lead role in a school play, a position which she has acquired a lot of times because of her family's wealth and power. On hearing of this, Meghan ordered her long-suffering father not to light the play, a task he had done well many times. Thank God he discarded her request because he was then punished by silence. However, Meghan will never let her hear the end of it since the beauty that went to the fire and exposed her soul and a recent cancer diagnosis to the whole side will never be told. It was one of the fantastic displays of the age thy whole publicity mattered that kept all pushing on. Factually, not only was Meghan negligent at adding on to this type of defamation, but so was her unfortunate husband. As I was reading, Kensington Palace phoned Harry at the appointed time just as Catherine told him she was publicizing her diagnosis the following day. He knew, and she told Omid. They told him ahead of time, just like Charles had been informed before telling everyone, including the family. They had chatted briefly and had not told him answer, but they knew at minimum that they should spread the word to the whole family, as Charles had. And I am hoping to suck it up again, just for iPhone donors for me to see these. He is a University of California representative, and I quite likely University of California adores quietly illegally defaming someone. And I have the naughty words that Jonathan Perkins said to me. And he is evil. And he calls himself that, and he knows so many people who have lost their jobs lately nobody's fault or virus. Ashamed. And on here, wisely for Scotland, according to Scottish customs, it has been approved by first of regarding April of list as hateful. And not just that he'd be demoted, but man would be thrown in jail. It wasn't because of the Princess of Wales only our charming one. It would be the same if he said it about an everyday person. If what has been done in my name and the name of my friends and other subscribers have been, according to what I know, then it is massively shocked and upset me that any individual can ever think of that, let alone write it for the whole world to see. If there is one grace from up high, it is that once something gets published online, somehow it stays that way forever. Thank you to people like you, now awareness should be brought with this piece of crap, and his atrocious behavior should be brought even further and wider. I hope, therefore, for the students' parents, both present and future, that within this staff, they see what the University of California Los Angeles actively promotes. Because as we all know, if we are compliant, we are simply culprits. Honestly, I thought that I can't hear anything worse than I've recently heard. But there they got again. Each time I hear these things, I cannot help it, my heart just goes out, and I feel so sorry and, well, just plain upset, not just for Catherine and William, God willing the children are being well sheltered but what must the Middleton family, especially Carol, be going through? Her daughter is not only going through the worst of life, but she has to take all this hate and vileness being thrust at her. They all must be absolutely heartbroken. How about you? Do you think about the online trolling actions taking place by a university professor who is supposed to be educated? He cursed the Princess of Wales, always criticized. You guys, our princesses are beautiful and kind, all she needs is love, not conversations, disgusting ones, 
that there must be some kind of a roof above and definitely the opportunity to get better. Moreover, seriously, someone should not be allowed to walk around the streets right now. The trolls that make the life unbearable for such lovely people, like Megan and Harry. How much hell they have to do in order our favorite, lovely but not such a favorite princess could be pursued by all sorts of insults on the internet. After our report, I think it turned out quite interesting and on the other hand even deeper. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.